What up everybody, Mark Fosco here from Behind the Green Screen, the channel where I cover every aspect of how I make my Wine World TV show. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends to do the same. That helps the channel grow. Are you just starting out with creating YouTube content? If you are, are you using the built-in microphone or whatever camera you're using? Well, do whatever you can to stop that. I've got a great piece of equipment that will be a game changer for your audio. It's not like this new device. It's been around for a long time, especially since I've been using it for close to 10 years. I'm talking about the Handy Zoom H1. The current model is a Zoom H1n, but either will work fine. I got mine for 99 bucks at Best Buy many, many years ago. As of this recording, the Zoom H1n is $99 on Amazon and eBay. You can get it cheaper used and save about 20 bucks and get the older version. This thing has been a rock solid workhorse for me. It's what I use here at the house. I also used to use it for interviews when I traveled. Now I use the H6 instead. I still take this with me when I travel for any solo work I do. I love this thing, it's light, it's super light. It's compact. The H1N is a bit bulkier, but it's still compact. It's super easy to use. Turn it on, set your level, and hit record. It records WAV files at 96, 48, and 44.1 kilohertz, and at 16-bit or 24-bit. It can also record MP3 from 48 to 320 kilobits per second. I advise you only use WAV, and for video purposes, the standard is 48 kilohertz, not 44.1 or 96, but I guess in reality, it'll if you do it the right way, everything will sync. Anyway, this model has a very good low cut filter. It's actually on the back. It helps with lower frequency background noise. It's not perfect, and I use additional noise reduction, but it does help. You can also use it as a USB mic. It has a USB port that will output a digital signal to a computer or other device. I'll use it in this way when I do Skype interviews instead of just plugging my lavalier mic in directly. I do this for two reasons. First, to take advantage of the low cut filter. Secondly, it's also giving me a clean audio recording from my side of the Skype call. But an audio recorder can only be as good as a lavalier mic plugged into it. And believe it or not, this lav cost me a total of $3. It came in a five pack for 15 bucks. I've bought even cheaper ones, but these actually have a metal alligator clip, whereas the other ones were plastic and they fell off all the time. I've used these labs from the first time I used the Zoom H1 or the, the, the cheaper ones with the plastic and then I switched to these. And you know what? They sound just fine. Are they as crisp and rich as an expensive one? No, but almost all that can be EQ'd honestly. I use it for any Zoom call where I need to talk. I did a recent Instagram live test with this actual lavalier plugged directly into my iMac. Yeah, I found a way to do that from a computer. Um, it was a hack. But you know what? The sound was really good. Now, with lavalier mics so inexpensive, you can have an occasional dud. It's more of if it works or doesn't work. I had one, if memory serves, that was bad. But as you can hear, there's really nothing wrong with this lab as far as sound quality. Can you get better? Absolutely. You can spend 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks or more for a single lavalier and all those will have a better sound. But as far as the quality to price ratio, these are excellent. One of the advantages of this setup over using a boom mic over me or a shotgun mic from, on the camera is convenience. I don't need a bulky boom stand nor a shotgun mic that needs a battery that I might forget to replace or charge. At least with the zoom, I can see the battery strength. It takes less space on the set and in my bag, honestly. It's also cheaper than a shotgun setup. At least mine is. Like you can definitely build out an expensive setup either way. With the boom and shotgun mic, you could either go directly into the camera or go into an audio recorder. As far as seeing the lavalier, I'm not shooting a movie or TV show. Now, we don't worry about sports and news shows where you can see the lavalier or interviews on TV, right? We actually expect to see it. So for less than 120 bucks, you can truly up your game with significantly better audio than the on-camera mic. Question of the day, what audio setup do you have? Are you already using the same thing I am or something else? Are you going to start using something similar? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know what you're doing. 
and maybe it's something that I would look at doing. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's show. If you like what I'm doing here, please make sure you like and subscribe to the show, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.